Don't you think that your English is pretty much influenced by the Dutch now, a little bit? Hey, Arsha, how are you? <laughs> Hello, good uh, morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. I remember that uh, you already expressed this idea about uh, one or two years ago when I just moved to the Netherlands, uh, but we didn't manage at the end, so I'm really happy that we... Yeah, finally correct. have this conversation. So yeah, correct. Uh, we had this idea like two years ago or so, or so right? Uh, yeah. I was about to invite you to my class, but I don't know, you know, things happen. Yeah. Well, thanks to the global pandemic now, things <laughs> seems to be a lot easier to do online now. I mean, people yeah. get used to it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Arsha, you're, you were my student before, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> four or eight years ago, probably. So you're batch 2012, correct? Mm-hmm. And then you finish uh, 2016. Uh, sorry, 16. Okay, so uh, I graduated from uh, UGM in 2016. Uh, right. I studied for four years, uh, so I guess it's relatively uh, in time for uh, yeah, engineering a student. Uh, I immediately moved to Jakarta uh, right away. Uh, mm -hmm. I grew up there, so I moved there right away. Uh, and in the meantime, I applied to um, as a research assistant in PPIDF. Yeah, uh, so I moved again to Jogja and stayed there for another three months. Uh, and right. in the last month of uh, my period over there, I applied to a graduate program in S3 Indonesia. Yeah, so uh, yeah, there. And then I moved again to Jakarta. So right. I work at the S3 Indonesia for about two years afterwards. Yeah, and okay. there I work mm. as a technical support analyst, so I learned a lot of uh, ICT side of uh, Earth observation and uh, right. yeah, geodata. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really in line with uh, my master's that I finished right. uh, about two months ago. Uh, that oh, also led me to my Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which okay. also led me to my current job as a data scientist. Where did you, I mean, what made you uh, okay, this is, uh, I want to start a new life, like I want to study, because sometimes people don't really do that, right? They're happy with their work. Yeah. What happened yeah. to you? <laughs> it doesn't mean that I'm unhappy there. I'm, uh, <laughs> it, yeah, no, uh, it was really fun. It was really, uh, I can imagine. maybe, yeah, because it, it is something uh, t totally different from I learned at the Geodetic Engineering. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah, because uh, mm. at S3, I'm in a technical department, which um, uh, yeah, uh, face a lot uh, with um, uh, enterprise architecture, right. cloud computing. Uh, so right. it's a lot more about ICT part of uh, right. Earth observation. But I already knew that I would like to continue my study to master degree since I uh, yeah, the last year of my study during bachelor. Okay. Um, so I defend my thesis on May or June. Mm -hmm. uh, and in February, I already know that, okay, I would like to continue to study master. Uh, and, but yeah, the, the time span is not really uh, enough for me to prepare. Okay. Uh, administrations uh, do um, English test and uh, oh. I, ha I also have to deliver my diploma as mm -hmm. uh, requirements to uh, apply to a master degree which yeah it's impossible <laughs> all right, all right. so okay. I have to postpone that yeah, so okay. yeah and I so at the end I uh, okay let's just face this uh, mm -hmm. just graduate and then uh, find a job and then working uh, so yeah I work there uh, right. which I didn't regret at all Instead, it built uh, my knowledge and right, insight right. about uh, yeah, giving solutions w uh, to real-world uh, cases with the current knowledge of geodetic engineer. Uh, okay. that, and with the new knowledge over there, which mm. is uh, geo-ICT, let's say, let's put it that right, way. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it introduced me to a lot of new things and right. uh, it makes me sure that, okay, I'm going to take geoinformatics as my master degree because it's simply mm. about geo and ICT. So, Right. Yeah, okay. it just makes me more convinced. Okay, I'm gonna take master degree. That's very interesting. I, th I think it is correct for you to decide that a bit earlier, you know, when you're still young, still energetic, and you have a lot of energy uh, to move from one field to other field or to from one situation to other situation. I think it's a lot better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once again, congratulations for your uh, 
master degree. So you no, you you I did do. your master degree uh, at uh, what university again? Uh, university of Twente. Of Twente. All right. Yeah. In geoinformatics, basically, right? Yeah. And you finished, oh. and now you're working in. Uh, the company name. Yeah. If if you yeah. if it's okay for you to say. Yeah. It. Yeah. 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 Uh, now I work at uh, Overstory. It's a startup based in uh, Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, they are uh, busy with the forest monitoring and uh, uh-huh. uh, artificial intelligence with a deep learning. And there wow. I work as a data scientist for forest wow. monitoring. So yeah, That's it's, very good. I really you know, like all their vision. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the words that you just mentioned, all the terms, artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, all of this kind of thing. It becomes really, really uh, popular lately. Yeah? It seems yeah. to me that everybody should really understand that or should really at least, you know, aware of that. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. Is, it, is it true? Yeah, I think it is true, especially right. uh, uh, as a person who graduated from geodetic engineering and then mm-hmm. now dive in into a data scientist uh, with a specific uh, area of uh, forest okay. monitoring, change mm. detection. Whatever, a satellite oh. imagery, aerial imagery, point clouds, right. all of those terms you are really, uh, right, yeah, have right. a good base of knowledge. So what okay, you have okay. to a bit uh, sharpen a bit is about your mm. computer sites. Okay, now my question is that, so if I understand it correctly, so your basic knowledge or your pre-knowledge about geoscience or basically geotech engineering really helps you to, uh, you know, to advance your role now in the current uh, job that you have, is it correct? Yeah, exactly. No. Okay. We deal a lot we... with different data, uh, geodata, right. I guess that's uh, what we right. usually call it now. Right, okay, uh, yeah. geodata. Yeah, we, yeah, well, me, myself, I personally right. know how it's being acquired, how okay. it's being right. pre process, uh, uh-huh, how uh-huh. to utilize it, and how to do mm, the post process. Mm. So, so basically, yeah. it, it completes <laughs> the, the picture for you, right? Okay, I, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. So at least uh, what uh, we did in genetic engineering help you now to uh, where of you course. are Of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is an intermezzo. D- don't you think that your English is pretty much influenced by the Dutch now, a little bit? Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get, I get that. Uh, com- uh, is it a complaint of a compliment? Uh, I don't know, but uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but I heard that pretty much that my uh, English is a bit influenced with the Dutch accent. Yeah. So you speak Dutch, uh, right? <laughs> Arsa? You you do? Uh, still, yeah, I'm still learning to to talk Dutch. Yeah. So, at, at what do you think? It is it is a must for you to be able to speak Dutch when you live there, or it's actually just for fun, or because I believe that everybody speaks English there also, right? Somehow, mm-hmm. is it correct, or do mm-hmm. I understand it correctly? Uh, honestly, I think if you knew already that you're going to stay, that you would like to stay here in the Netherlands, right. there is no, uh, yeah, there is uh, no hesitation for you to not learning Dutch. What okay. is uh, what is the lose for you? There is no loss for All you right. to uh, study right. Dutch right. anyway, mm. um, because it it. It's not. Uh, it's not lose your time. Uh, it gives a uh, lot of benefits for you as well because um, although people over here yeah. are speak uh, English right. fluently, uh, right. if you would like to integrate with the whole uh, citizens over here, then yeah. That, correct. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so basically, Dutch. if people ask uh, why, your answer might be why not, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, who are you when you're in, in uh, genetic engineering? Okay, wow. let, me, let, me, let me tell you something from my side first, from the <laughs> docent side. Uh, this, this, this might be a joke, right? but this, this can be true. Arsha itu nggak kelihatan kayak anak teknik ya? That's what I... That is what we usually uh, joke about or gossip about. <laughs> oh, saya kenyang sih, Pak. <laughs> udah, udah kenyang banget, Pak. Saya kenyang dibilang okay. begitu. <laughs> Karena yang, yang bilang bukan hanya mahasiswa tuh, dosen-dosen juga. Eh, harusnya ini beda banget ya, nggak kayak orang teknik gitu. I mean, <laughs> how, do you, how do you see that? How do you respond to that? Yeah, when the first time I uh, hear that, I was pretty offended, let's say. Let's put okay, it that see, way. That see, I'm, I'm sorry offended. because I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. At the end, I can take it that I start to understand uh, why people perceive me that way. Right, Maybe right. because I like... Uh, 
I don't know, uh, style. I, I like being okay, stylist, yeah, yeah. basically. Right. right, right. Uh, um, you did, you did, you did. I'm, I'm into fashion. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe in the stereotype of uh, UGM students, right. uh, uh, those uh, those kind of person who likes or into styling is uh, more mm. more or less uh, into uh, I don't know economy of uh, or yeah or uh, law maybe or like, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah right. those uh, social politics uh, yes, major. Yes. So yeah, I can understand that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but, uh, but for us, at the end of the day. It's good, you know, to give a different flavor or color to our life. I think it's 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 positive. I mean, I mean, knowing the fact that you also perform really good, I know one thing. If you remember, Asha, uh, when you're uh, you, you were attending my class about uh, maritime boundaries, so borders basically. When I mm-hmm. challenge everybody to, if you can, if you guys can write something yeah. in a popular media, uh, you know, I'll give you more credit. If you remember that. Yeah. And you you accepted the challenge and you Which did you published it, right? You remember, right? Yeah. So I think okay, uh, this is really good. You know, I basi- uh, I better like uh, as a docent, I better just open my my eyes and mind about people can be different and then they still can be very good too. So I think that's uh, you you somehow taught me something about that. So don't pay attention too much on the on <laughs> the you. Uh, you know, appearance basically. So you you yeah. did you did great so congratulations and thank you very much for that. <laughs> and then after that, uh, sorry. Uh, now can we move to the uh, scholarship life? Mm-hmm. When you decided to go to the Netherlands to study, uh, can you tell me more uh, about that? Is it scholarship or you you paid it yourself? You don't mind telling us? For study, I granted. Uh, I was granted for scholarship. Uh, it's a half. A okay. scholarship that was granted by the University of Twente itself right, from the right. faculty. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, the faculty is um, aiming to uh, sharpen the skill for people from a developing right. country. Okay. So uh, yeah, I personally don't find it a bit hassle, just uh, like other scholarships that I applied. They they even offer me if you would like to take the scholarship, then you have to do this and that, which uh, I already okay. halfway for that. All so right. yeah, I just did it, and uh, yeah, at the end I received that. Yeah. Okay, so it is a partial scholarship basically, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, which which covers like tuition fees basically, correct? Uh, tuition fee and half of the allowance, uh, living allowance. Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, Indeed. it's good to know. I think uh, maybe next time we have a, a a good session about this kind of thing because you know people sometimes they just think about a regular scholarship that they know, uh, yeah. only the conventional one LPDP yeah. lagi, LPDP lagi, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> student uh, lagi, student uh, lagi. OKP. And so basically, there are a lot of other opportunities, right? So when when you Betul. open your eyes about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you decided to stay to to work there. I mean, instead of uh, coming back to Indonesia, uh, mm-hmm. which is, I think is, is a very good and interesting decision. Mm-hmm. But do you have any reason behind that or any? Yeah, I just uh, at the at the yeah after three months of my study, I already built some uh, new plan. Let's say that's uh, how yeah, I always okay. do. Uh, so after three months of uh, my after I moved to the Netherlands, I mm. start to think, okay, I would like to take internship because it's open opportunities to. Right. Uh, yeah, just to see how is exactly uh, working environment here in uh, in different right, country. Right. Will it mm, be the mm. same as in Indonesia? Because I already have a working experience there. Yes. And um, I think it will also open a chance for you to uh, working over here and also right. uh, stay over here. And basically, right. I really like um, the the culture over here. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think uh, I'm the only foreign who will say this. Uh, I think this is a, some kind of a famous stereotype of uh, of the Dutch, which is a Dutch darkness. And I think I really like that. I fell in love at the first uh, place with the Dutch darkness. <laughs> That's pretty okay. weird <laughs> of a foreign for saying okay. that. Okay, very, people, very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, most uh, people will I... say that it's really impolite uh, for them because uh, yeah, they they are pretty blunt about things. That yes, yes, if they yes, say, uh, yeah, they will be, yeah, frankly honest about anything. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like the no, foot. Then, no, yeah, right. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, no is a no. Yeah, 